In this video, we're going to take a look at some simple building blocks of digital functions. Specifically, what we're going to do is we're going to implement the exclusive OR without using an exclusive OR gate. We're going to use an AND gate, which is right here and right here. So this says A complement ANDed with B. And then we're going to run it through an OR gate. And the other input to the OR gate is going to be A ANDed with B complement. So I need an OR gate to connect this output with this output. I need an AND gate for these two inputs. I need an AND gate for these two inputs. And I need uh, an inverter for A and I need an inverter for B here. So I need some inputs for A and B so we'll start off with that. So here is our input pin and we're going to put one of them here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the direction that it's facing. I'm going to have it face south. And uh, I'm going to have a line running down from it so I can attach to it. And then I'm going to copy this, control C, and paste it, control V. And now I've got two inputs, one I'm going to label A and the other one I'm going to label B. So let's take this one and let's change its label to A. And I should have done this before I copied because I also want to change the size. So we're going to make the size of this a uh, good size as well. And then let's go over here and the label on this one's going to be B. And again I want to make the size bigger. We'll do 32 again. Okay. Now, um, I want to the output of this to be 1 when A is 0 and B is 1. So if A is 0, I need to invert it before I run it through an AND gate. So I get a 1 and a 1 going through the AND gate. So uh, I'm going to need an inverter here uh, for A before I run it through an AND gate. I'm also going to need an inverter for B uh, for my second AND gate uh, down here. So let's connect uh, this to A, and let's connect this one to B, okay? And I need an AND gate here, and also, I'm also going to take, uh, I think this is about how far apart they need to be. I could be off by one row there. Um, now what I want to do is I want an AND gate, so let's pick an AND gate up here, and we'll copy it down here. And the default for an AND gate is to have five inputs. And we're going to change that. We only need two. So let's get the appropriate number of inputs there. And you can see from these little blue lines, let me make this uh, somewhat bigger. There. That might be a little too big. Uh, but now you can see the blue lines. Those are the connectors. So I'm connecting this and I'm connecting this. So this is going to be A complement is going to be the input here. B is going to be the input down here. Now that I've got my AND gate the way I want it to, I'm going to do a control C to copy it and then a control V to paste it in. That way I don't have to set the number of inputs again for my second AND gate down here. And uh, this one, I, that should be on the bottom. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter, but I usually put them in alphabetical order when I make the connections here. Okay, so this output will be 1 whenever A is 0 and B is 1. So the 0 gets complemented. I've got a 1 coming in here. I've got a 1 coming in here. And because it's an AND gate, I've got a 1 coming out here. This will be 1 for the output of this AND gate when I've got a 1 coming in for A and a 0 coming in for B. The 0 gets inverted, and I've got a 1 and a 1 going through the AND gate, which will give me a 1 for an output. I need to run these through an OR gate. So here's my OR gate, and let's uh, put that someplace in the middle. Again, the default is 2 for the number of inputs. It's, I'm sorry, it's 5 for the number of inputs. We want to change it to 2. And then we need to make our connection here, and we need to make our connection down there. And then we need to run this to an output. And we are going to go to our input and output group here, and we're going to run that to an LED, which will light up if the output is 1, and it will not light up if the output 
is zero. Okay. Now, this isn't necessary, but I'm just going to clean these up a little bit so it looks a little nicer. And there's our circuit. And now let's run it. Um, if I have zero, zero for an input, I should get zero for an output. The light should stay off. But if A is one and B is zero, I should get a one. If A is zero and B is one, I should get a one. But if they're both one, an exclusive or means one or the other, but not both. So if they're both ones, I should get a zero for an output. So let's go ahead and click on our little hand tool over here. And now let's uh, make B1. And you see the ones are going to be a bright green. The zeros are going to be a dark green. And my output is going to be a one if the output LED is red. Let's turn that off. It should go back to black. Let's turn A on and we get an output of one. But when they both have a value of one, we should get an output of zero again. And so those are the basics of doing uh, some digital inputs, uh, changing the direction that they're facing, adding labels, using inverters, uh, using AND gates, OR gates, and LEDs for outputs, and changing the number of inputs on an AND gate or an OR gate.